Hi, everybody. All right, welcome back to Sandfest 2020. Uh, <laughs> we've been sanding down the canopy to make the uh, back just the right length. And here you can see me working with a couple of small strips of aluminum. Those are doublers that go between the canopy frame underneath and the canopy itself. So the canopy needs to be a certain width on the side. And it tells you to check. You know, you pull your calipers out and check the width of the canopy at the bottom. If it's under this certain length, add a spacer. Well, it was under a certain length, so I added a spacer. And that's what those two little strips you just saw me doing. Uh, only, the only problem with those is keeping them in place, right? Because what's going to happen is you need to have those in place. You're going to Clico the outer piece onto the canopy, as you can see me having click it on there, and then we're going to be drilling holes through that, right? And you need that spacer to be in place, so uh, my recommendation is to hang it with uh, little strips of painter's tape. That's what I did. doesn't add really any width to it. And it seems to hold it in place pretty well. So, okay, the pre pre preemptive sanding is done. So we're happy with the sanding. We're happy with the spacing everywhere. Uh, the next thing is we're going to put uh, basically a, a ratchet strap across it, right? So normally this is when you would hang some weights off of the front corners, right? So, you know, add the 10 pounds of weight. You can add 10 pounds and you hang it off a specific spot. And that's all well and good. Uh, the problem with it is uh, I have this ratchet strap and it tells me that I can use a ratchet strap, so I'd rather use it. Because it's either hang two 10-pound bags off of it, off the corners, and a 5-pound bag off the center, or ratchet strap. Right, so the 25 pounds of weight represent, like, it gives it a little bit of, I think, I think the idea is that it, it adds a little bit of pre-stress load to the acrylic. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of the reason behind it, but it also kind of stretches it out into place just a little bit. So, uh, putting it on there, it's, it's awesome, and not to mention it holds it in place while you're doing the, uh, the dirty business of drilling, so, which we are about to get to now. Just like the rear window, which you see me having in place, uh, I've put a couple of pieces of aluminum shim around the entire thing. Because when you start adding the weight and putting weight down on it, it wants to move the window back. Well, you don't want that. You still want that perfect little, like, 1 16th inch space between the canopy and the rear window. So you can see I've got little aluminum shims. And just like drilling into the back window, uh, same thing I'm doing here. I mean, it is a nice warm day. But I've got a nice big container full of cutting solution all made up, uh, which is uh, at least 70% alcohol. Well, 40% alcohol. Vodka. Uh, but I actually have rubbing alcohol and baking soda. Right. And, and, and a, enough to make a nice slurry out of it. And there it is. First hole. In fact, here's a picture of it. Well, here's a picture of one of the holes. Doesn't that look nice? So that's using that cutting solution. Every time I dip it into the cutting solution, you get the alcohol, you get the uh, baking soda, which really acts as a good kind of cutting lubricant. It's almost like... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to describe it, but the nice part is that as you're, you know, as you're drilling, the alcohol is evaporating and cooling down your acrylic so that you don't have to worry too much about, you know, getting them, um, you know, melting your your plastic. And then once you've got the first one in, uh, what you do is you, so you're going to do this, you're going to do all the clecoing in like five phases, right? And every time that you finish a phase, you take it off and make sure that everything is good and then you put it all back in. Of course, also what I do is I like to go and, you know, deburr the holes. But just to make sure everything is good, and then you put it back on, you do phase two, right? You click everything on. You know, it starts with the top, and then we're going to do some sides. Uh, just like kind of, you know, when you click or rivet on something that's a large sheet, and you want to go from the center out, same exact thing. So, yeah, there's five different phases of doing this drilling. 
they're all easy. All right, just remember the most important thing is when you start drilling to be directly over the hole that you're drilling into. As, as you start to go off to the side, that parallax starts to get you, and you never know where you're actually drilling. That would be bad. Very bad. So, uh, yeah, just going to keep drilling away. And like I said, between every section, you take it off, you check, make sure everything's good, you ratchet everything back in. Uh, plus, you also reclamp on the canopy frame to the roll bar. Forgot about that. You also reclamp that on every time. So, everyone have a good weekend. Um, I'm taking the weekend off. I'm not working on the plane at all. I'm going up to Marin, the planet Marin, where I'm going to be getting shit-faced, right? Uh, no, I'm not going to winery. We're actually just going to go house-sit for my wife's aunt, which is really cool. I just want to, look, I just want to go somewhere else and read a book. I'm sick and tired of being at home. I just, I can't, I mean, I have a nice home. I'm, f f this place. I'm going out. Uh, like I said, everyone have a good weekend. Love you guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. See you soon.